Hey there, today I will share 10 travel tips with plastic baggies to use when you pack for a trip. These tips will help you save space by using plastic baggies, help you organize items in your suitcase, as well as give you ideas for things to pack in those baggies that you may not have thought of. Packing in a carry-on suitcase with strict airline requirements means space is limited. So use plastic baggies. Do not use all of the original containers to pack your items. With these 10 travel tips, you're going to maximize the space that is in your carry-on suitcase and your personal item. I use baggies instead of the hard shell containers because I can smush and squish my items more easily to fit in between items in my suitcase. Stay tuned to the end of this video to find ways to use baggies on a camping trip or a rental house for vacation. The number one travel tip is to use plastic baggies to pack your antibacterial wipes in them. The Transportation Security Administration now will allow a huge tub of antibacterial wipes if you can find them in the store, as well as a 12 ounce hand sanitizer bottle. And that bottle does not count as liquids, just so you know. But instead of packing the hard shell container of wipes, put them in baggies. And another tip is to uh, divide those bags of antibacterial wipes among your family members. So each person has multiple wipes for wiping down the seatbelt buckle, the tray table, and different parts of the hotel room or the rental house when you first arrive. The number two travel tip that we use baggies for is to pack game cards and game pieces in. So you do not have to pack the whole box that holds all the game pieces and the board for the board game. This Family Feud game all fit in one gallon bag and I highly recommend the Platinum Edition. I will link it on Amazon for you, but it's great for older kids and teenagers and it is still clean. The number three travel tip is to pack a few of your pills in plastic baggies. They do not need to be pulled out in the TSA line. You can pack in a pill box in a little envelope type pill container box that I have. If you need to know how to pack liquid medicines or if you're traveling with someone with a disability or EpiPen, insulin, I will link my video for how to pack your medicines um, in the iCards as well as in the description box below. For the iCards, you can look at those videos at any time. It will not get rid of this video. The number four travel tip with plastic bags is to use a gallon size bag to pack your jewelry. And I mean long necklaces. They get tangled so easily. But if you use a plastic baggie like my jewelry container that I have that I don't have a link for, you would use the plastic baggie and roll it all the way up with the long necklaces at the very bottom. And then you're going to secure that gallon bag with very strong rubber bands. You can see that they are very secure and even if you shake the bag, the necklaces will not get tangled. If you're liking this video so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell and you will never miss a video. Or you can just say hello. I'm a pilot wife here in Houston and I YouTube travel tips to help you travel the globe without a worry in the world. I'm also on Instagram as Travel Tips by Laurie. The fifth way that I use bags when I travel is to pack snacks. If you're going on a conference by yourself, you can portion control snacks for yourself during the day. You can divide the snacks in between children. You can keep your snacks dry if you're going to the beach that day. Now you need to know that TSA came out with new screening procedures on how to pack your food when you go through the TSA line. So don't miss that video. If you are at the beach, another way you can use a baggie is to keep your phone dry and away from sand while you're at the beach all day. If you're going to travel during the winter, then you need the number six use for baggies. And that is a compression bag that does not use a vacuum cleaner, okay? No vacuum cleaner or hair dryer involved. As soon as you start rolling up the bag, the compression starts and I used it. This is by Ziploc and do not fall for the one that I did. Um, I bought regular packs of compression bags that do not use a vacuum cleaner, but I also bought the travel carry-on size. The opening is too narrow when I fold a pair of jeans or put a really thick sweater in there. Now, once I get them in there, I can compress them. I feel like the regular size bags are just as good because they're gonna compress down to a small size anyway. The number seven travel tip is to use bags for toys. For each child, or if you're like me and have one child, when they're a toddler age, you tell them you can put toys in this baggie 
and maybe this baggie and that helps them know so that you don't have to nag them that that's all the toys I get whatever fits in here and whatever fits in this bag we would pack matchbox cars whatever toys they could have that would fit in there if your child does want to pack toys that will roll off the tray table um, I suggest this little boundary tray table cover it even folds up into a backpack that they can carry on their own and also packing crayons in a baggie is a great way to keep them contained along with that little boundary. The number eight travel tip is to pack your electronic cords in just bags or a baggie. I bought this one by Amazon. It's hard shell and I just can't squish it and smush it. And I feel like I have to be too organized in all the tiny pockets. This is just not convenient for me, if that makes sense. So this past winter, I bought a roll up one by Travelon and I really do like this because it can still squish and smush and fit a lot of cords in there as well as my um, little charger. But you can also just throw your cords in a baggie. I do have a video that will complement this one about travel organizers that I'll put in the I cards or in the description box below. The number nine tip is to use baggies as pouches. I pack a lot of my items in pouches because I have so many free ones that I've gathered over the years, but you can also just use baggies. And the reason I like that is because you can hide them or pack them in a tiny, tiny spot or tiny corner of space that you have in your suitcase thus maximizing all those empty spaces in your suitcase. You can even use a bag to make a DIY amenity kit as if you were flying in first class. And I have a video about that. The number 10 travel hack is to use a zip top plastic baggie that is quart sized for your liquids to go through the TSA line. I have this one because I love this kind of fabric and it's easy to wash it and reuse it. Plastic bags, I don't, I'm not going to re. I'm not going to wash those. My parents were both teachers and we had to take our lunches to school in plastic baggies that folded because those were less expensive. And then we had to bring those baggies back home and my mom washed those plastic bags. The Ziploc does make a stand and fill which has like a wider base if that makes it easier for you. They also make bags called Contain the Clutter. I love the patterns of these bags, but they're a little too expensive for how not reusable they are. Like I'm not going to reuse them if they get dirty on the inside and they're a little stiff. I don't like how stiff they are. Pouches are soft and squishy. Baggies are fine. I can dispose them easily. Um, they're a little stiff but I will link them down below so you can see them. I know they're at Walmart and on Amazon. I know that Ziploc also makes the really double XL or two gallon bags that you could pack clothes in instead of using like packing cubes like I have, but the amount of packing cubes that I have is fine. So I don't need those, but that's an idea for you. Okay, the last tip is for how to use baggies if you're renting a house or camping. You need to pack around 10 or 15 sandwich bags and then some gallon bags. You're going to use the gallon bags to marinate chicken. You can store leftover chicken that you've already cooked in gallon bags. You can pack sandwiches for a picnic lunch or a day hike. We stored a head of lettuce that we had already cut in a gallon bag and a tomato, a spice pack from our taco seasoning that we didn't use all of. Also, I stored my block of cheese that I had already cut some off for dinner one night. I don't have saran wrap when I'm camping, so I just put it in a baggie. We want to keep away the bugs. And another thing to store in there is your priceless, precious bag of coffee, just so it stays airtight. Say hey below if we have not met yet and share your travel hack for using baggies for travel down below. Thanks so much for your time. We all in our worldwide community appreciate your view and your tip or trick.